About to bring a tear to your eye because there's the king of supercross on a 125 two stroke. How awesome is that, guys? Let's find out more from Jeremy McGrath. Look at this, still soaked and loved by the fans. How cool is that? MC, the king of supercross. guys no laptop to make a fuel correction old school changing jets and here he is the king of supercross the seven time champion always great to see mr showtime jeremy mcgrath i love it you're bringing a tear to my eye on this 125 could you please give me a tour of this motorcycle yeah so it's uh 2004 kx 125 um obviously uh pro circuit built motor pipe silencer it's really the second time i've ridden i rode it at mammoth um, it's got 458 kit suspension on it, so which I have not valved, so it's a little bit rough. So as the track gets rougher, it's going to be a little harder to hold on to. But uh, as you can see, we're doing some jetting, working on the carburetor, trying to get more fuel to it. These big hills are hard on these little bikes, so um, I don't know if it's the hill or I don't know if it's my weight, but anyway, we'll get, get some more fuel to it so it'll a little bit more happy. So got one more moto to go, and uh, got to see what we can do. I'd say so. Jeremy, you're 190 pounds. You've been on 450s now that, I mean, what are we at? 60, 65 horsepower. We're talking about these things. We go back to what? 30, 35 with this. I mean, how, how do you adjust to this? How do you alter your riding style to go back to a 125? I mean, it's, you know, look, I have a lot of years riding two strokes. That's what it's about. You, know? and, uh, you make a lot of noise. You're not really going very fast, which is cool because it's pretty safe feeling. Um, but still, yeah, it, it these things are sensitive to weight. The lighter you are, the better. And um, it's kind of a, you know, this is just for fun. Riding a bunch of, riding with a bunch of old guys, riding 125 is just fun. Just making a lot of noise, and that's what it's about. So just uh, trying to get her tuned up. How much better is the suspension here than what we were dealing with in 2004? I know you guys got a lot of tricks and a lot of advancements. I mean, your suspension's only as good as you have it tuned up, really, right? I mean, yeah, this is a newer, more current stuff, but at the same time, it's not really valved for this bike, and it, it needs it needs more weight. Like, it came from a 450, so um, I just didn't have time to get it set up. So it's a bit of a handful out there, but maybe my extra weight kind of helps that, so it's all right. Well, you're doing a great job, and I noticed you made a change from la last year. was an 03, right? Yeah, last so year was 03. This year is 04. Last year was a borrowed bike, and it was good for a few minutes, but then it would just kind of heat up and slow down. So um, went from my own build. Mitch helped me out, of course. Tried out some of the old tricks from the Pro Circuit days uh, when, he had, when his boys rode 125s, and uh, yeah, so here we are. What do you enjoy racing more, two strokes or four strokes or Pro 2 trucks? Oh no, I, I like riding dirt bikes. Just a uh, pro two trucks fun. It's just real expensive, it, and it's fun. We got it figured out. I started winning a lot doing that too. But um, there's nothing like the free feeling of riding a dirt bike. So that's why I'm here. We've come a long way from the modern 450s, haven't we? Quite a far cry. Take a look, but it's amazing that those old two strokes still holding up, still fast, still amazing. Yeah, you don't have to get fuel on your hands for a jetting change here. What's more physically demanding? Four stroke, two stroke? Oh, four stroke for sure. Oh, wow. Uh oh. What do we have over here? Somebody down here at Glen Helen. Send the bike off the guy. Oh, man. Keeping a close watch on that. Jeremy, thousand riders here, 20 countries. Unfortunately, we have seen some incidents like that. Everybody just talks about how rough it gets out there. I mean, what's that like on your body? Uh, tra this track's gnarly. I mean, it's one of the most physical in the world, this thing. It's not, not one lap's easy out there. So it's tough on the body, um, especially at the ripe old age of 50s. And uh, and you just gotta be really wide-eyed and look for some smooth lines and try to ride around some of the bumps, but it's pretty tiring. Some say Mike Brown is perhaps the best vet ever. He, I asked him, how do you keep going? He says, I never quit. I'm always trying to keep up with these young guys, but you're right there with them. 
and and you're telling me that uh, maybe you haven't put in as much training as him. Does that does that make you have some confidence heading in? Uh, you know, I don't know. It, it, he's definitely the fastest vet ever, I think, for sure. Um, but you know, he treats it, it's his job still. That's his job still. It's not my job. I, I just love my dirt bike and ride when I can. I haven't ridden actually. Literally, I rode once in two months. Before I came here, which is not really the greatest idea because it's so rough here and it's so physically demanding. So, you know, look, I'm just taking what I get, taking what I can get out of it, trying not to put myself in danger out there and just ride my comfort zone. Um, it's, it's pretty hard to beat Mike. He's pretty fast. If I can get out in front, of, I led one lap so far on him this weekend, so that's good. Uh, getting second to him is kind of like a win, so I'll take it. What do you think is the biggest performance upgrade to this 125? Uh, you know, 125s are all about the motor. So whatever Mitch did to that thing, I don't know if it's a 140 or 125, I don't know whatever it is, but um, you know, again, it's, it's fun, but these hills seem to tame these, these little bikes up for sure. Daniel, I know uh, you, like so many others out here, like me, look up to Jeremy McGrath. What's it like working with him, working with a true legend, one of the all-time greats? Well, I always grew up watching him race, and that was so, uh, it's really just a great feeling here to work on his bike now, that I'm older than me. Very cool, man. Keep up the good work. We'll let you get ready for Moto2. Thank you very much for the time. Uh, last question, what's next for you? I know your daughters are growing up. They're getting, they're just so talented and awesome when it comes to racing. What is next for the King? Uh, you know, I don't know. Just keeping it fun. Just trying to ride my dirt bike. It's Right now it's the winter time. It's dirt bike season. So whatever I do, I just keep it fun. Hang with my kids and they're getting ready to go to college here. So it's uh gonna be a weird time for me it happened fast man happened fast. how time goes so Very fast bad. you were hanging on my bedroom wall it seemed like yesterday it was like 20 years ago I but know, I know. it's weird hey, how time flies any chance we see a knack knack in moto 2 absolutely not <laughs> <laughs> no chance yeah no chance <laughs> well thanks so much and good yeah. luck man all right cheers yeah i just want to save it i don't want to blow it up we've gone from like 10 to 430 now so yeah, it'll be a lot happier i think Alright guys, thank you so much. We're on race five right now. Race five. Oh, I'm in seventh. I think. No, I'm in fourteen. I'm in fourteen. I'm in fourteen. I gotta wave. Yeah. guys i really want to thank jeremy for the time and all the folks here at kawasaki for giving us a tour of that awesome 125 if you have any memories of that great two stroke any memories of the king drop them down below and how appropriate look it's the 50th anniversary of the kx and that's the reason for this throwback 1993 delivery was that awesome or what let's keep these great two strokes alive and so cool to see the king the 72 time 250 cc supercross winner seven time series champion back out here southern california really hope you guys enjoyed it if you do make sure you smash subscribe here's another video for you and you know if there's anything dirt bikes fast motorcycles we're in off-road racing insider rolls on